Guys, torture mastery is so back, baby. Warlocks are eating good on this wipe because they buffed the perk finally. We are talking a buff that makes torture mastery viable again with zero gear. You do not need any magical healing to play torture mastery anymore. And the buff allows you to dominate. This is the exact numbers of the buff. You, ha you have a 98% buff to torture mastery. What they did was they took the base healing from torture mastery. They increased it from one to two per tick and reduced the attribute scaling from 15% down to 10%, meaning that at the higher end of Torture Mastery, you actually end up with exactly the same effectiveness of Torture Mastery, but at the lower end, you gain these massive buffs, making it viable to run again. Here's a chart that shows the effective buff in red versus the old Torture Mastery, and you can see the healing you're getting is massively more at zero to low magical healing numbers, versus the upper ends around the 18 to 20 mark where it teeters out and normalizes so i the only thing really to to explore is exactly how big this buff is and i think the best way to do that is to actually play torture mastery with no gear so for this what we're going to do is we're going to bring curse mastery we're going to bring vampirism and we're going to be bring anti-magic curse mastery increases our curses by 30 percent so that we can get two extra ticks of torture mastery per curse of pain and three extra ticks per power of sacrifice vampirism increases our healing by 20 percent and anti-magic will give us a fighting chance against wizards basically and then we have, of course got torture mastery for the spells we're only going to be able to afford a few so i'm just going to bring curse of pain power of sacrifice and hellfire thankfully we have this brand new mechanic in the squire which allow us to actually set our base gear so we're going to bring a spell book we'll bring a frock we'll bring a wizard hat and we'll bring some heavy boots actually you no know, wizard boots for movement speed bring ourselves a potion set as well and we can get straight into game with this to see exactly how good torture mastery is with zero gear Alrighty, so I believe this is actually the cave troll map? We'll find out in a second. I don't remember exactly, but I think this is the cave troll map, so that is the most ideal. Cave troll is going to be definitely way more easier and more viable than the uh, cyclops is, that's for sure. There is a 1 in 3 chance you get cave troll, 2 in 3 chance that you get cyclops. Alright, it is cave troll, let's go. So, for this we need to take it somewhat slow. You know, we're not trying to do anything too crazy. We only have three spells. Let's get our Curse of Pain in. In fact, we're just going to cancel, put our book away, and move away with a, a quick movement as soon as that curse ends. I do have a guide that is a little bit outdated on how to kill the Cave Troll at level 1 with no gear. But the simplicity of it is that you chuck a Hellfire out, you chuck a second Hellfire out, you chuck a third Hellfire out, and then you pop some Curses. And that should give you pretty much full health on your healing here. I'm gonna sidestep away. It's easier to put your book away when you have no experience. Well, we got a player coming into her. Looks like a bard, maybe? Oh no, he has a, a round shield. Bards can't have round shields, I don't think. Oh, it is a bard. We can actually hold our book out. Yo, this is definitely viable. No gear. Oh. Gone for a cheeky little throw knife. You cheeky little bugger. Well, what I can say is we can definitely do the cave troll. No issues with no gear at base kit. But I do not know if we will be able to then survive <laughs> after we finish the cave troll. I mean, look at this. It's a fighter. This guy is really trying something right now. Alright, that's a curse landed. I'm going to jump past the cave troll. Move away now. Maybe we can get the cave troll onto him. He's coming in. This is good because we can get the cave troll onto... Yep, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Cave Troll, with this assist. Curse of power to get our health back. Yeah, okay, I mean, like, look at this, dude. We're literally healing, out healing the cave troll whilst pvping and this is definitely going to be a viable base kit so this is a huge change for torture mastery guys like you can now zero to hero in high roller cave troll with no gear literally squire gear and whilst it's going to take a little while especially if you get like third partied like i was 
and you're probably going to lose some fights you know afterwards because you don't have the gear to survive every pvp battle this is definitely viable again and i suspect that um cyclops will also be viable cyclops just has like triple the health and the rock fall can be a bit of a pain in the ass with uh the fact that it can can really hurt but they did bug fix it the rock fall is definitely nowhere near as deadly as it used to be that was a more of death there i wasn't paying attention all right this guy's getting close to death now pop another curse of pain there it is look at that dude warlock is back torture mastery is back this is huge and what did we get i mean we didn't get anything <laughs> we got nothing but at the end of the day we also came in with actually nothing and this is going to be a huge come up for us the amount of gold we invested into this round is zero the amount of gold we're going to come out of this round but well, should be over 600 in theory so let's uh loot the pile and loot the chest and get out of here Ooh, chest is a little wizard hat for us a little upgrade a okay leather cap and lantern we can sell that to the vendor afterwards this is all good stuff this is all free money man okay we've got a heater shield put that heater shield with our falchion diamond over here pearl over here and go again oh nice royal take that drop that on the floor might as well wear that because we can always just use that later it's not really worth anything but might as well take it out with us it's free oh that one is much better for us so let's take that instead make a little trash pile here because we're not going to be able to carry everything out with us so we need to start sorting that out but hey look this is already becoming a, a decent amount of gold with that royal turquoise uh gem bang bangle we're, we're honestly making in collectibles alone probably like 500 gold here and <laughs> we just went in base kit literally nothing we just went in base kit with the squire into high roller and killed a cave troll and we're gonna make all this gold i love it this is like the best change that the devs could have made for torture mastery okay a little boot upgrade for us drop the rest of these gems on the floor one more pull i mean we could actually pull a named weapon or a gold chest right now wouldn't that be nuts a zero to hero gold chest i would love that okay drop that on the floor take all this stuff off the floor not you okay i mean this is a great little pull for us man considering we came in with absolutely nothing we are leaving this dungeon with plenty of gear we have a static in the northwest of the map. Maybe we can go straight there. We don't really have any potions, so it would be ideal for us to get somewhere before it's too late. A little potion wouldn't go awry. Hey, a little pendy as well. Why not? Okay. Straight upstairs. Through the door. Actually, we'll go this way because it's probably a little bit safer. Okay. And this should be a free static for us. I can't imagine someone's already been here with all the doors shut. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Torture Mastery is back, baby. And it is free money for all you Warlock mains out there. So, from absolutely zero, collectibles alone, 520 gold. I mean, this hat's worth very little. The padded leggings are probably worth very little as well so is the heater shield so are the buckled boots realistically i maybe sell each one of these items for you know 50 to 100 gold each let's just say 75 each so one two three four five six seven eight at 75 each we're looking at between 500 to 600 gold if i was to sell all these on the uh the, <laughs> the marketplace so that's an additional like 500 gold let's just say and so from zero to hero torture mastery buff we just made a thousand gold in one run with the cave troll i mean this is an incredible buff for all you torture mastery players you do not need to invest much into your magical healing gear but let's say you did want to invest into your magical healing gear what would you buy well this is what i've been currently going for a rare phoenix choker with three magical healing costs about 250 gold so that's three magical healing right there epic mystic gloves give you three magical healing and three magical power and they cost very cheap like under 200 gold so that's six magical healing right there and then a rare spell book with three magical healing cheapest right now is 477 so 
that is an additional maybe 500 gold for your spell book as well and with these three pieces i now have nine magical healing for under 1000 gold it didn't break my bank and i'm ready to go and i really don't need to upgrade my magical healing at all this is going to be perfectly viable for a torch mastery kit i'm so excited to play to warlock this patch knowing that torch mastery is back is my favorite playstyle, as i know it's one of your favorite playstyles as well so if you guys would like to see more torch mastery in action and ask me some questions i'll be live on twitch.tv forward slash dowsy a lot playing torture mastery and warlock and when early access season two starts i will be attempting to become the first demigod player in the world and win nick box race to demigod five thousand dollar tournament so if you'd like to cheer me on and support me drop by the stream when the season starts i'll be live thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the dungeons